So here's what I want to do. I want to level set what is a staff engineer, right? So this is a, a chart that I stole from staffeng.com. It's a great resource. If you all want to check it out, I have no affiliation with them. But generally the way these things work in the engineering world is you have an entry-level engineer and then mid-level and then senior. And that's where it becomes interesting. You can either go down the IC ladder, which is a yellow box, or you can become a manager. But at, at a lot of companies, senior is like a terminal level and that's where you have optionality. And that's why it's important to like get to that point and then you can decide, okay, do I want to go down the IC ladder or management? We're talking about the decision here if you want to pursue going down that individual contributor ladder. And staff engineer is particularly interesting because that's where I consider you're the first true level where you have to be a leader. You have to, even if you're not a manager, you're a leader as an individual engineer. And not everyone gets a staff engineer. It is a very challenging promotion. And it's also worth calling out that it's unique in the engineering world that you have a viable path to getting paid more and having more influence and more scope as an individual, not as a manager. If you think about a salesperson, for example, or maybe even like a product manager, it's very challenging. But I don't think there's such a thing as like a distinguished salesperson. Like the way you accrue more compensation and more scope as a salesperson is you go and manage more salespeople. But engineering is unique in that we have leverage. We have tools at our disposal that allow us to make ourselves or other people more productive. And that's a pretty magical thing, I think, about our role as an engineer. And I think it's worth just reflecting on that. And we'll probably talk about that today. Just one other thing I want to talk about here is like one way to think about the progression is what is your scope as you progress the ladder, right? So entry level, you're talking about a task and then a feature, and a project. And when you get to staff, you're talking about multiple projects or maybe even a whole product, right? So you really are talking about many people being impacted, many different parts of the code base. And then you go all the way up to principal or distinguished, and then you have perhaps impact across the whole industry. Like you've invented some open source framework or some way of doing like a methodology that is adopted across the whole company or industry.